Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Famiworth single serve coffee maker. Now I was given this coffee maker free by the manufacturer. It does come in several different colors. Retails for about $72, but I do see it on sale most times. It's for $50 and with a $10 coupon, that's $40. Bucks. So $40 to $50, that's about the price point I would pay for it. Okay, so this single serve coffee maker, you can brew a K cup with it, and it has a filter basket. You can brew coffee grounds like you use in a coffee maker. Okay, so it's very simple to operate. First, let's talk about the K cup. You're gonna press this, and that pops open. There's a needle for the top. This little basket here has a needle in there. So you're gonna put the K cup in here, and when you press it down, it's gonna poke a hole in the bottom of the K cup. And then when you, let's just try it. See, I poked the hole in the bottom. I put this in here like that. Now when I close this lid, it's gonna poke a hole in the top and it snaps closed. You're gonna put your water back here. It's got little steps. Whatever amount of water you put back here is what it's gonna brew when you press the brew button. So since I've got a cake up in here, I'll press the capsule button. If I'm gonna use the coffee grounds, I'll press the coffee ground button. So it's super simple to operate. And this blue thing has little steps. So the minimum is six, eight, 10 or 14 ounce. That's what you can brew in here. Okay, so K-Cups hold two tablespoons of coffee. I like to brew eight ounces through my K-Cups because it tastes just right to me. Um, you can brew more or less through there depending on what your taste is, but eight ounces through two tablespoons of coffee works just right. Okay, so you're gonna pour your water in and you're gonna stop at the step. That's eight ounces. right there. Okay, so you're gonna pour your water back here. You can use filtered water or tap water. I went a little bit over, I went above the eight, so it's between the eight and the 10 right now. Again, I already got my cake up in there from earlier. I can see, yep, it's still in there. Hit the capsule button. Now you'll see that light's kind of flashing. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. You can hear the water kind of heating up. What it's gonna do is it's gonna heat the water up first, then it's gonna turn a pump on and shoot it through the cake up and your coffee will come out. The whole time this blue light is flashing. Okay, so right at the two minute mark, you hear the water boiling in there. Now it's turning a small pump on and we can hear it coming out. So let's get some temperature checks. So 190 and it's ramping up 192. Again, be careful, that's very, very hot. I'm not getting a bunch of splatters around. And it's getting ready to finish up here. About 194, 195 is where it ends up at. But it does seem pretty consistent through the whole brew. Okay, so the pump has stopped running. Again, very hot cup of coffee, 175, wow. That's an extremely hot cup of coffee. Now the coffee maker will shut off automatically. It's a little noisy there towards the end, but it's gonna shut off here. Okay, shuts off. So about two and a half minutes, you got a cup of coffee ready to go. And I have been drinking the coffee out of here, so it tastes really good. And being able to, to brew a K-cup, that's a pretty nice feature. There's so many different varieties of those K-cups. Okay, so let's lift up. We're gonna push this button, it's gonna pop open. Be careful, the cake up could be hot, but we got this little lever we can pull. We can see it didn't overflow, pierce the bottom and the top. Okay, so now let's make some coffee with this coffee filter. It does have a max line that's right there. So you cannot fill this thing all the way up to the top. You gotta be careful and, and follow the max line, which is right below the max. Okay, so you can see I got the coffee in there. That is just a little bit more than two tablespoons, not much more. So again, you can't fill it all the way up. We got this lid, we gotta put this lid on. So we're gonna make sure the K-cup basket is out. We don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna put this in there like this. Make sure the lid's on and close this. Very simple, snap it close. Okay, so I put my water in. Again, whatever amount of water I put back here, it's gonna brew. Um, again, it's only two tablespoons of coffee. You can run a lot through it, but it may be watered down. Now I'm gonna press the grounds button. Okay, so, so the same process is happening. You can hear the water is being heated up, then it's gonna turn a pump on and run it through the coffee. 
we're already at a minute. Okay, so about a minute and a half, it turned the pump on. All right, it's brewing the coffee ground. Seems like it's brewing maybe a little slower. Trying to get up to the same temperature, 186. Okay, so we're at 194. So in two minutes, you got yourself, two and a half minutes, you got yourself a cup of coffee. Okay, so we can hear the pump is still running even though nothing's coming out and it's gonna turn off. The blue light will go out and it shuts down. Okay, all done. There's the cup of coffee. Now, when you use this type of filter, you may get a little bit of sediment in your coffee when you don't use a paper filter. So let's take a look, see how this brewed. So yeah, you can see it did a good job brewing. So it does have a nice drip tray for easy cleanup. Let's take a measurement. So I can put about a seven, six and three quarters uh, tall travel mug in there. If I take this out, I can put a seven inch travel mug. So if you're looking for a simple coffee maker that can do K-cups and your own coffee grounds, brews a very hot cup of coffee, simple to use, I highly recommend this. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.